So, you're thinking about moving to Gulf Shores or Orange Beach, Alabama, and you're thinking to yourself, well, what do I need to know before I get there? Well, today, Aileen and myself, we're going to tell you a few of the do's and don'ts about coming to the beach. Just go through a few of them and, uh, you know, just try to tell you, you know, what, what it's like from locals, from our, our standpoint, you know, what it is like living here and everything else. So, we, we do these videos every week just to tell you, you know, what it is like to live here, so let's get to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the little bell for notifications so you can be one of the first ones notified about the current market situation in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach area and the surrounding areas. Uh, like I said, I'm Andy Hollis. This is Aileen Fountain, my partner. And along with our entire team, we do these videos every single week just to be informative, just to kind of let you know everything there is to know about uh, what, you know, our little slice of paradise right here in uh, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach area. And again, all the surrounding areas. Um, so if you're looking to make your move, whether it's nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, you know, send us an email, set up a Zoom call so you can talk to us face to face. It doesn't really matter. We would absolutely love to help you make your smooth move to our little slice of paradise. Today, Aileen, in this video, I thought we would just do, you know, like some of the do's and don'ts um, and just tell people, you know, some of the things that you ought to be aware of when you're coming to the beach. So. Let's get started. What's your number one on your to-do list? Well, the absolute number one thing you've got to do on your to-do list is you come down here on vacation, you got to have fun. Well, yeah, true. You do have to have fun. But don't impede on someone else's fun. I'll give you an example. If you're out on the beach and, you know, you're sitting out there and especially if there's a family right near you, don't be playing your radio real loud with vulgar music going on. Just don't do it. And then also another good point is if, you know, see which way the wind's blowing, because if you pick up your towel off the sand and you shake the sand out of your towel, make sure you're not shaking it in somebody else's face. That's just not a good idea. So do have fun, but don't impede on someone else's fun. And number two on our, our to-do list is... Well, this is a big one. Make sure you have sunscreen and that you have actually put the sunscreen on. Um, it is <laughs> yeah. really a good idea to go ahead and put the sunscreen on before you get out to the beach. I can't tell you how many times I see people spraying their sunscreen on and the wind is blowing the sunscreen this way and they're getting little to no sunscreen <laughs> on their actual right. body. All right. Well, yes, so do wear sunscreen and don't forget to reapply that sunscreen. There is a little thing on the side of the sunscreen that says SPF 40. Now let me tell you, or 50, or whatever the, whatever the case may be. Now let me tell you, I did not know this until I talked to my dermatologist. Because if you live at the beach, you have a dermatologist, <laughs> trust me. So every, you know, my, my dermatologist tells me, she said, first off, if it doesn't have zinc oxide in it, it's not doing any good. So the best brand that I found is, as far as what I use is Water Babies. Water Babies is fantastic, but it has zinc oxide in it. But the little SPF, like if it says SPF 40 on the side of it, that means you should reapply that every 40 minutes. I did not know that. So I just, I mean, I thought it was just the strength of it or whatever, but the little number tells you how often you should apply, uh, reapply it. So if it's SPF four, that means every four minutes you're supposed to be putting stuff on. Well, and if you're fair skin <laughs> like me, you gotta have an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true that. And, and an umbrella with a vent hood in it. I learned that the hard way. If, you, if it doesn't have one of the vent hoods in the top of it, then that sucker will get the wind and it'll blow right down the beach and it's hard to catch. So yeah. um, anyway, and then another do at the beach. So we have some amazing restaurants. Uh, we have over the years gotten a lot of new restaurants come in. So we have a lot more restaurants than we've ever had before. So go eat at them because they are fantastic. Okay, so do go eat at the restaurants, but don't be rude to the servers. We are very short staffed right now, like every other place in the world. I mean, we're just very short staffed. So do make sure you go eat at the restaurants, but don't be rude, just be patient. In addition to our beautiful beaches, we also have a lot of beautiful waterways. 
So you can go out and enjoy boating. We have boat rental places. You can, there's a lot of other different activities to do, but boating is one of the big ones. Absolutely. Well, and don't forget to hydrate, take plenty of water. Um, and then also, like as Ailey mentioned before, don't forget to take sunscreen. Oh, and here's another little tip for you. So if you're out there on the beach, you know, we, we did another video earlier about the jellyfish and all that. Don't be scared of the jellyfish. But if you do get stung by a jellyfish, it's not the end of the world. Make sure you take, and I don't know if you even know this, but make sure you take a squirt bottle with vinegar in it and some meat tenderizer. The vinegar and meat tenderizer together will absolutely take the sting out of a jellyfish. Did so, not know that. That yes. could have come in real handy for me a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, vinegar and meat tenderizer, it'll take the sting out of jellyfish. And then? Absolutely come to the beach and enjoy our sunshine. We have some of the prettiest oh sunrises, sunsets, and beautiful long days yes. of, of sunshine. Absolutely. But don't forget to wear a hat. I get out there all the time. As you can see, I don't have any hair. So, you know, I mean, or at least I keep it cut real short. But yeah, if I don't, if I go out there without a hat on and I, and inevitably I will always forget to put sunscreen on the top of my head. So if I don't wear a hat, you talk about that is the worst place in the world to get sunburnt is on the top of your head. So don't forget to wear a hat. Is make sure that you've got a cooler packed with snacks and drinks. Yep, good idea, absolutely. And then also, when you do pack those snacks and drinks, like your little things of, uh, of you know, potato chips or whatever, don't leave anything out there on the beach. Take it back with you. Leave, at the, our motto is leave only footprints. And also, don't feed the seagulls. Do, do not. not do it. Oh it my is God. a surefire <laughs> way to stand out as a tourist and really <laughs> make some people mad. Well, not only that, if you <laughs> feed one of them, then 900 of them are going to come in and they will... And they will disrupt everyone <laughs> around you. They, they will poo-poo on, on you, so don't and feed seagulls. And everyone around you. <laughs> yes, don't feed seagulls. Absolutely go for a stroll on the beach. Some of the most peaceful times I find are when I'm out walking on the beach. I have clear thoughts and uh, makes me happy. So definitely take advantage and go for a nice walk on the beach. Yeah, and at night is a real, is you know a lot of people walk on the beach at night. Yes, do go for a stroll on the beach at night. Um, it's it's the I'm telling you the moonlight coming down, especially when it's clear out there, is just amazing. But don't use a white flashlight. I found this out the other day because. Number one, they say it disturbs the sea turtles because the baby sea turtles use the moonlight as their guide to get back into the water. And if you use a flashlight, they mistake that and they get confused and they won't get back in the water. So they say to use an amber light. So pretty good little uh, word of advice. Yeah, and if you were ever <laughs> curious why condominium complexes have those amber lights on the porch versus a regular light, that's the answer. Um, another thing that you are going to want to do while you're here is you're going to want to get out around town. We have so much to do. We have shopping. We have arcades. We have putt-putt. We have bowling. We have an outlet mall. We have water parks. So many things to do. Go-karts. <laughs> yeah. The track so many things for you and your family to enjoy while you're here whether you live here or you're a tourist i have a little one i live here full time but i still go to the track and the arcades and things like that that tourists do yeah because you know i'm going to take advantage of the amenities that we it's have fun. here yeah absolutely well if you do get out and about and you do go to some of our world-class shopping don't go through the freedom pass if you don't know what a freedom pass is and you don't have one you, oh my god i mean you pull up there and somebody's sitting there and there's there's usually not an attendant on duty yeah. so they have to sit there forever and, ever and, and then ever, there's so. people behind you so you can't back up That's right. and now there's a row of cars and so now you're stuck in the lane an attendant has to come over from another one yeah. it, it will it will definitely uh, ruin disrupts. your 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 flow so if you don't know what a freedom pass is don't go through the freedom pass lane uh, talking about all the do's, um, other wonderful things that you can do here is you can go on a dolphin cruise, uh, parasailing, yeah. and also uh, you can go out deep, deep sea fishing, you can go out on the boat. The there's, pirate ship. Yep, yeah, so there's a lot yeah. of other boating activities if you don't have access to a boat specifically. 
that you can take your family out and do things on the water. Yep, they even have uh, these Tiki cruises, which is pretty cool. Uh -huh. We're gonna do another video on the Tiki cruises. If you do go out on the dolphin cruises or you do go out on do some of the boating activities, don't feed the dolphins. Do not try to feed the dolphins. It's a big fine, I mean a big fine. If they catch you, it's a huge fine to feed the dolphins. The reason they don't want you feeding the dolphins is because it gets the dolphins used to people and they come up to the boats and they'll get hit by the boat prop. So they don't want you feeding the dolphins. Mm -hmm. So it's bad for the dolphins and it'll be bad for you if you caught <laughs> because it's a really big fine. So don't feed the dolphins. And then I think the final one on your do list is just, you know, for you to pick up the phone, call, text, email us for any real estate needs that you have. Um, even if you just have a general question about the area, we're more than happy to help you with that. So give us a call. Absolutely. So don't forget to call us <laughs> and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the little bell for notification. So you can be one of the first ones to know about everything there is to know about our area. I mean, again, we absolutely love it. And so we want you to love it too. So there's, a, like I said, just let us, give us a call, shoot us a text, hit us up with an email, schedule a Zoom call. We'll talk to you face to face. We're not scared, we'll talk to you. So give us a ring. And also check out some of our other videos. We have a couple of featured videos for you to check out as well before you leave the channel. Until then, see you around town.